So for number 10, we're given a spring um, where the work to stretch it out from its natural resting state. So um, this is the natural length. And if we were to stretch it out, so from here, if we were to go one additional um, foot, if we were to stretch it out, it would require a work um, of 12 um, feet times pounds. So what that means for work is that we work is a measure of force applied um, through a distance. So you multiply force times distance. However, the issue here is that the force is variable because the force is described by Hooke's law, which is k times x, where k is just the constant of the spring times x, which is the distance. So you can actually see that force, it takes in x as an input. So the force is constantly changing. So if we want to sum up something that is constantly changing, we do have to take the integral. So what we're considering here is if we put this on the x axis, um, our work isn't just going to be force multiplied by distance because uh, force is not a constant. So we're going to sum up force across the distances in, of x, but across tiny dx's here. So we're going to consider um, infinitely small distances. So our work is going to be the integral from point A to point B of f of x dx instead of just f times d. And then f of x, as we saw here, is just k times x. So we can replace this. So work, work is going to be the integral from a to b of k times x, which is our force that changes from the input of x times dx. Um, so once more, this may seem a little bit repetitive, but I want to make sure that you guys get it. The reason that we're um, using the integral to calculate work is because the force itself is changing. It's a variable force that depends on distance x. So we're doing the summation over infinitely small intervals. So once we have this, what are we given here? Well, we're given that the work is 12 uh, feet times pounds. So we're going to say that this is 12 and required to stretch the spring one foot beyond its natural length. So our boundaries here are going to be zero because it begins in its natural length, zero, where there's no stretch, going all the way up to one foot, so from zero to one, um, of k times x dx. So if we integrate this, we can just put the k outside because it's a constant. So I'm just going to rewrite this as k being outside, and it's just the integral of x dx. And so if we do this, 12 is going to be equal to k times the integral of x is just x squared over 2, evaluated from zero to one. So if we evaluate this, that's going to be 12 is equal to k times, that's just going to be 1 squared divided by 2, 1 half minus 0, so that doesn't count. So k times 1 half, and therefore that means that k is going to be equal to 12 divided by 1 half. So k is going to be um, 24 pound per feet. So that's the constant of the spring here. Um, it just tells you that you have to put um, 25 four pounds of force per, per foot that you want to stretch in this one. Okay, so once we have the constant k, now we can go back to the question, which is how much work is needed to stretch it nine inches beyond its natural length? So what we're going to do here is we're going to now put a new integral for work. And let me just move this out to the side. So now we're looking to stretch from zero, which is its natural length, up to um, nine inches, but we're in, in feet. So we have to convert nine inches to feet. And since there are 12 um, inches in a foot, nine inches is just three quarters of a foot. So we have to convert that so that we have the same um, units. And then, so we're integrating f of x dx. And remember that f of x is just k times x dx. But k, we already found it for this one. k is just 24. So this is the integral of 24x dx. And so if we calculate this, the work is going to be, the integral of 24x is going to be 24 times x squared divided by 2 from 0 to 3 quarters. So that's going to be 24 divided by 2 is 12 times um, 3 fourths squared minus zero squared. So we're not going to count that. So that's going to be, um, let's see, 12 divided by 16. That's going to be three fourths times nine squared. So sorry, three squared, which is nine. And the total answer is therefore going to be three times nine is 27 um, divided by divide, divided by four. And our work here is measured um, for in feet times 
eight pounds. So this is the answer for problem number 10, where first we, um, we took this integral here because we knew that the work was 12 pound, uh, feet times pounds to stretch it one feet beyond. And so we used that integral to solve for K, which was the missing constant of the spring. And so once we found the value of K, which was 24, now we were able to set up a new integral calculating the work, stretching it from zero to three quarter of a foot, which is nine inches. Um, and that ends up being 27 over four.